Welcome PRTV special report. You know, today, May 16th through the May 18th is the 72 hour international road check safety blitz inspection blitz inspection frenzy out of service frenzy whatever is going on may 16th to 18th starts today you may got inspected yet but this is every year they do this 72 hour safety blitz to uh, crack down on bad drivers unsafe trucks all that other stuff who knows i remember in the past a lot of drivers take off these two days just so they don't get caught up in something not that they have anything to worry about it's just a pain in the butt to get caught up in all these inspections and wasting half a day or something waiting in line to get inspected only to pass so it's crazy so this is what they're every year they have a different theme of what they look for this year it is um, abs brakes and load securement that's what they're focusing on but they will be looking for everything else so if they look around long enough i'm sure they'll find something that's the old saying from us old schoolers anyway the uh, cpsa which is a commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance, uh, starting a road check today, International Road Check. International Road Check is a high visibility, high volume, 72 hour inspection and enforcement event during which CVSA certified inspectors in Canada, Mexico, and the U.S. will conduct ins inspections of commercial motor vehicles and drivers at way stations inspection stations and designated inspection areas and along roadways which i've always been against roadside inspections you put everybody in danger when they do that so try to find a rest area or a way station or something you got to do an inspection roadside inspections are not all that good but if they pull you over on their side of the road what are you going to do got to pull over this year's inspections will focus on analog braking systems and cargo securement to highlight the importance of those aspects of vehicle safety now this these are all cvsa words this is what they are saying Although ABS violations are not out-of-service violations, ABS play a critical role in reducing the risk of collisions by preventing the wheels from locking up or skidding, allowing a driver to maintain control of the vehicle while braking. We've all been there, slam on the brakes, road, uh, wet roads, snow, or whatever, even dry pavement. We've gone it all depends so you don't want them skidding down the road which possibly calls a jackknife in addition improper cargo securement poses a serious risk to drivers and other motorists by affecting the vehicle's maneuverability or causing unsecured loads to fall, resulting in traffic hazards and vehicle collisions. Now, yes, if you're in a dry van, box, or a reefer, and that load, say you got 44,000 pounds or something, and if all that weight should shift to one side of your trailer, it's not secure properly, you know, that can be a big issue on maneuverability, that's for sure. And, of course, you know, the flatbed or the open decks, that stuff can just fall off. So, yeah, I, I understand you got to secure your load because you just never know. You just never know. You slam on your brakes and that cargo will be right through the front of your trailer or in the back of your cab 
in the truck with you. Seeing the pictures. Many pictures of that. So secure your loads. I would say that is very important. During a routine standard one inspection. Now this is what a standard one inspection consists of. Inspectors focus on two areas. Number one, vehicle safety. Inspectors will ensure the vehicle's brake system, cargo securement, coupling devices, drive shaft components, driver seat, fuel and exhaust systems, frames, lighting devices, steering mechanisms, suspension, tires, wheels, rims, hubs, and windshield wipers are compliant with regulations. So do your pre trips, especially a close pre trip these next two days while this 72 hour safety blitz is going on. Another area they look at in a standard one inspection is driver safety. That's very important, driver safety. Inspectors will check the driver's operating credentials. Make sure you've got a CDL and a medical card, I guess. Hires of service documentation. Let me see your logbook. Let me see your logbook. Status in the drug and alcohol clearinghouse. Hmm. Seat belt usage. Yes, he's seat belt. And alcohol and or drug impairment. So don't drink and drive. Don't do drugs. Especially in a commercial vehicle. That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. But it happens all the time. You read stories. This truck driver got arrested for He was on some kind of drug. He was drunk. And it's crazy. I don't understand why people ever did that. Never did. Never did. I never did it. Never, never, never. So the source of that is uh, cbsa.org. So go check out their website if you want to see what they were talking about there. But it is the next two days. So be, be sure your truck is in order. Well, your papers, get your papers in order. And all that good stuff. Logbooks, hours of service are good. And yeah. So... Let me know if anybody gets inspected. I would like to know that very much. If you've got any video of it, be sure to send it to me at payrider 50 payrider 50 at gmail.com. All right. Let me know down in the comment section also if you've been inspected. So I appreciate everybody watching. Everybody have a good day and stay safe.